Now, we talk about, human blood. Blood, is a body fluid in humans, and other animals, that delivers necessary substances. Such as, nutrients, and oxygen to the cells. And, transports metabolic waste products away, from those same cells. Blood, is a mixture of two liquid, yellow liquid, and red liquid. They can be separated by using centrifugation. Centrifugation is a mechanical process, which involves the use of the centrifugal force to separate particles from a solution according to their size, shape, density, medium viscosity, and rotor speed. Blood consists of four components. They are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and blood plasma. These four components of blood, will be detailed, in the next section of the video. We first talk about the red blood cells. Red blood cells, are biconcave, and disc shape. It is a cell, without a nucleus. Each of red blood cells, contains hemoglobin, this is the red pigment of red blood. Hemoglobin is the protein molecule, that will combine with oxygen in lungs, to form oxyhemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin will deoxygenated, once the oxygen is transferred to the cells of body. Hemoglobin is produced by bone marrow. At which, bone marrow, is a semi-solid tissue found within the spongy portions of bones. The lifespan of red blood cells, is about 120 days. About the function of red blood cells. The main function of red blood cells, is to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide within the body. About the white blood cells in our blood. About the properties of white blood cells. White blood cells is colorless, an irregular shape. All white blood cells have nucleus, and in term of size, they are bigger than red blood cell. Same as red blood cells, white blood cells, also produced by bone marrow. Its lifespan, is about a few hours. About the function of white blood cells. White blood cells, function as immunity agent. About platelets in our blood. About the properties of platelets. Platelets have a irregular shape. Platelets, are cell fragments. Platelets, have no nucleus. Platelets, are produced in bone marrow. About the function of platelets. Platelets, are function in blood clotting. Blood clotting, is an important process, that prevents excessive bleeding, when a blood vessel is injured. About the blood plasma. About properties of blood plasma. Blood plasma, is a yellow liquid. At which, 90% of the blood plasma, is water. And, 10% of the blood plasma, is the mixture of glucose, amino acid, enzymes, hormones. Antibodies, mineral ion for example, the ion of sodium, and calcium. Plasma have a lifespan, from 5, to 9 days. About the function of blood plasma. Blood plasma, transport nutrient to body cells, and remove wastes, from body cells. At which, both of the processes, are conducted through the diffusion process. Now, we talk about human blood groups. Human blood, can be classified into four blood groups, A, B, AB, and O. According to the type of antigen, on the red blood cell, antigens are protein molecules, capable of stimulating an immune response. There are two types of antigen. They are antigen A, and antigen B. The follows are, the blood type group, with its antigen. About the red blood cells of the blood group A. Red blood cells of the blood group A, have antigen A on its surface. About the red blood cells of the blood group B. Red blood cells of the blood group B, have antigen B on its surface. About the red blood cells of the blood group AB. Red blood cells of the blood group AB, 
have antigen A, and antigen B on its surface. About the red blood cells of the blood group O. There are no antigen on the surface of red blood cells of blood group O. Blood plasma, contains antibodies. Antibodies are large, Y-shaped protein, used by the immune system. To identify the antigen, and to neutralize foreign objects, such as, pathogenic bacteria, and viruses. Two antibodies for the discussion here is, antibody A, and antibody B. The follows are, the blood type group with its antibody. About the antibody in blood plasma, of the blood group A. It is antibody B, antibody B, will recognize antigen B, and neutralize the objects, which have antigen B. About the antibody in blood plasma, of the blood group B. It is antibody A, antibody A will recognize antigen A, and neutralize the objects, which have antigen A. About the antibody in blood plasma, of the blood group OB. There are no antibody A, or antibody B, exist in the blood plasma of blood of group OB. Hence, red blood group OB, accept both red blood cells type A, and red blood cells type B. About the antibody in blood plasma of the blood group O. Blood plasma of blood group O, contains antibody A, and antibody B. For blood transfusion, the blood groups of the donor, and the recipient, must be compatible. Because, an antibody will attack its corresponding antigen. Which cause the coagulation of blood, in vessels. Coagulation of blood, may cause brokage in blood vessels, and may cause death. For example, antibody A, will coagulate with antigen A. And, antibody B, will coagulate with antigen B. This table is the summary of the antigen, an antibody, with its corresponding blood group. You can do a pause of the video, to have a review of the table. Now, we talk about the importance of blood donation. Blood donation, can help to save lives. Blood, is required for some surgery, accident victims. Or, to treat patients with diseases like leukemia, hemophilia, and other illnesses. The donated blood, can be directly, used as an unfiltered blood for a patient. Or, it can be separated into several component, for different kind of patient. Now, we are in topic 4, transport system in plants. Plants have transport system, to transport essential material, from roots to leaves, and from leaves to roots. Glucose produced in the leaves through photosynthesis, will be transported to whole body. Water, and mineral, absorbed by roots and soil, will be transported to leaves. Now, we talk about, the transpiration process in plants. Transpiration, is the loss of water through evaporation, from the surface of leaves. Transpiration, facilitates the absorption of water, through osmosis into the plant, via its roots. Transpiration, helps water moving upwards in the plant. Water that contain minerals, absorbed by the roots, will transported to every part of plants. Now, we talk about, the cross section of leaves. This is the cross section of a leaf. About the cuticle of leaves. Cuticle, is the waxy layer waterproofing upper leaves. About the upper epidermis of leaves. Upper epidermis, is the upper layer of cells. These cells, contain no coroplasts. These cells, form a protection layer to leaves. About the palisade mesophyll of leaves. Palisade mesophyll of leaves, is a tightly packed upper layer of, chloroplast containing cells. About the spongy mesophyll layer of leaves. This is the lower layer of, chloroplast containing cells. There are air spaces, around them. About the lower epidermis of leaves. The lower epidermis of leaves, contain pores called stomata. That allow carbon dioxide, and oxygen, to move in, and out. 
the lower epidermis of leaves, produces a waxy cuticle. About the stomata This is the opening between guard cells, for gas and water exchange. About the guard cell Guard cells, are two cells surrounding stomata, that control rate of gas, and water exchange. About the vascular bundle Vascular bundle, is the bundle of many vessels. They are, xylem, and phloem. These vessels, are for transportation of substances. About phloems of leaves Phloem carrying dissolved sugars, and organic compounds, throughout plant. At which, sugars, and the organic compounds, are produced from photosynthesis process. About xylems in leaves Xylems, function to carry water, and minerals, from roots throughout plant. This table, shows the function of structures of leaves. You can do a pause of the video, to review the table. Now, we talk about, the exudation process in plants, or it is also known as the gutation process. Exudation, or gutation, is the water loss from plants in liquid form, through hydathodes that are always open at edges of leaves. During night, or when the air humidity is high, stoma is closed. And, no transpiration of plants occur, water will loss from hydathodes. Now, we talk about, factors affecting the rate of transpiration. The rate of transpiration, is affected by four main factors. About the impact of the light intensity, on transpiration. When the light intensity increase, the transpiration of plants, will increase. About the impact of temperature, on transpiration. When the temperature of environment increase, the transpiration of plants, will increase. About the impact of air movement, on transpiration. When the air movement increase, the transpiration of plants, will increase. About the impact of air humidity on transpiration. When the air humidity increase, the transpiration of plants, will decrease. Now, we talk about, structures, and functions of the components, in vascular bundles of plants. A vascular bundle, is a part of the transport system, in vascular plants. The transport happens in stems, leaves, and roots. Xylem, and phloem are two types of transport tissue, in vascular bundle. They can be found in stems, leaves, and roots of plants. About the xylem. Xylem functions to transport water, and nutrients, from roots to stems, and leaves. Xylem tissue, consists of vessels. Vessels are with thick wall, and no nucleus. About the phloem. Phloem functions to transport sucrose, from leaves to other parts of the plant. Phloem tissue, consists of conducting cells, generally called sieve elements. Sieve elements, are with thin walls, and no nucleus. Now, we are in topic 5, blood circulatory system in animals, and transport system in plants. There are similaritis, and difference, in between. Blood circulatory system in animals, and transport system in plants. The following are, the similarities in between. Blood circulatory system in animals, and transport system in plants. Both are transport systems. Both transport water, nutrients and dissolved substances. Both exist in complex organisms. Now, we talk about. The differences between the blood circulatory system in animals and the transport system in plants about the differences of structure in between both of the system the blood circulatory system in animals is with pump and valve the transport system in plants is without pump and valve about the differences in types of transport vessels in between both of the system Blood circulatory system in animals, consists of three kind of vessels. Artery, capillary, and vein. Transport system in plants, 
consists of two vessels, xylem and phloem. About the differences of connection, between transport vessels, in between both of the system. At which, arteries, capillaries, and veins, are connected, to form one continuous vessel. Meanwhile, in the transport system of plants, xylem, and phloem, are not connected, and they are two separate vessels. This is the full content of Chapter 3, Transportation. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please click like, and share this video to others who need it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription is my motivation to continue the making of videos. Thank you for watching.